Uh, I want to tell you about GNUnet. Uh, you broke the internet, let's make a GNU one was the title. Um, my details are over there. Um, reachability lowers from high to low. Um, yeah, GNUnet, what is it about? It's about creating the internet new for 21st century. Um, the internet started with, wow, I can access your computer, you can access mine, this is great. Nowadays we're like, okay, uh, we can access computers, but okay, they can also access mine, what the fuck. And we need to have end-to-end -end encryption and anonymization of the way data flows. So I'm trying hard to get this in five minutes. The problem is that the network leaks too much, like crazy, there are insecure defaults, uh, rather high complexity for management, too many centralized components, and uh, misuse of those floors happens all over. Um, GNUnet is a mesh routing layer for end-to-end -end encrypted networking and a framework for distributed applications designed to replace the old insecure internet protocol stack. It started 15 years back and has been followed up in academia very hard. So I show you this, I have a very hard simplified version of the internet and I put another very hard simplified version of the GNUnet next to it. Um, I start at the bottom with the physical layer. Rebuilding all the wires won't help. So we simply start with what we have. We hide our presence in the network to use existing transports, existing protocols. GNUnet has here unreliable out of order packet delivery semantics to obfuscate and hide the presence in the network. Um, the automated select transport selection decides which connection is the best to use and um, establishes that one. So for voice, you need something fast, and for file sharing, you mostly not need something fast. Next is called Core, where GNUnet runs an off-the-layer, um, off-the-record link encryption between the peers. This is, yeah, the Ethernet layer, where at the moment you can spoof um, and fake addresses as you like. You can listen to communication, all this. So this you cannot do if there is an off-the-record layer here. Um, it multiplexes the inbound messages to the higher-level subsystems, and it hides the connections to the peers who don't speak the same language. Um, here it's about decentralized routing. It's an R5 N, uh, so basically it's a routing algorithm that is decentralized and has a distributed hash table included. Um, this is the heart of the project. It's the transport protocol called CADET. It's similar to SCTP. Um, if you don't know what this is, it's a mixture of TCP and UDP and stuff like this, all variants combined. And it serves end-to-end -end encryption on this point. Um, there are additional services needed on top of Cadet to provide application-specific functions. Um, so there is in development something called Xolotl, which is a mix of Sphinx and Axolotl, and that provides an SCTP-like interface and protects the metadata. And then there is Lake, which uh, provides anonymous and encrypted mailboxes, and um, it comes from Pond, uh, but without the central servers. <clears throat> then we have the GNU name system, a secure and decentralized naming system, uh, providing an alternative public key infrastructure. GNS replaces, therefore, DNS and also X509. Um, it does not rely on central root zones or authorities. It has query and response privacy and supports globally unique secure identifiers. Um, now the application layer. Great, four minutes. Um, file sharing. We need file sharing, otherwise what's the internet there for? Um, it's there anonymous and non-anonymous. Um, then we need something for the people who are using social networks that they can still use the internet. Um, and then we have uh, a voice over IP protocol, uh, messaging and a payment system. And you can also, I mean, it's not there fully yet, but it's in development, it's in the concepts are there and it all needs to get connected. Um, that's also one of the reasons why I'm doing this because GNUnet is now since June actually that like ready to use. Um, so yeah, you can also start to make your own apps for the new internet. Um, I skipped this one. This is quotes from the website, what it is about and rather put my last 10 seconds on this one. Um, please try it out. There is this release from uh, June. So either uh, W get this or clone the current repository um, on the GNU.net git. 
Follow the instructions on the website. We're also trying to push uh, gnunet.org slash tutorial or something like this uh, soon um, because, yeah, we were doing some workshops successfully. And then uh, if you follow the instructions on the website, you might hang at some points, but in free note, you get help pretty soon, also on the mailing list, and then go and find all the bugs and uh, tell us what you think about it, because there will be lots. So yeah, that's about it. Um, just this little thing that um, I really find this important that we are solving this problem now ourselves. Like we're fighting against the, sim against the symptoms so hard, so I personally gave up on this. I personally gave up on um, explaining the politicians what they're not understanding. And I also gave up on fighting the symptoms. Let's rather go to the roots. It will take us quite some years, but then we have solved the problem. Thank you. <laughs>